Claw busted here. So I received a question from a viewer, Golden Maneuver. And he's building a bullhead and he's at the point where he's painting the body. And this guy really knows his stuff. He's really detailed and meticulous. I can tell by the comments and questions he's left me that he really does a lot of research before he does something. So I kind of took it as an honor when he asked me a question about a bullhead. And what he asked me is if I could do a video showing how Tamaya would have painted the inside of their bodies. And I could do this video correctly because I have this bullhead right here. This is a bullhead, an original, I bought off a Tamaya employee. He worked for Tamaya for over 20 years, and this thing just sat in a display case. So this thing was built, painted, and stickered in Japan. So it's perfect. It's the best example of what Tamaya would have, how they did it back then. This is like a, a Tamaya time capsule in a way. The front bumper's broken. That happened during shipping. Kind of sucks, but I have another bumper. I tracked down a bumper in an original decal sheet. Just in case I ever do decide to sell this thing, I wanted to make sure I got original parts, not parts off the newer re-release, which are pretty much the same thing, but still, I would want someone to have it as close to the original as possible. So anyway, let me pop the body off, and I can show you what it looks like underneath. So this thing's perfect. If you take a look right here, these decals, everything, both sides are exactly the same. You could check all these with a micrometer. So let's take a look underneath, see how Tamaya would have painted it. So when you first look at this, it looks like it's just regular overspray. And that's what I thought at first. And I never really thought to, to look at the inside of the body. And that's a good question. I'm glad Golden Maneuver asked me that. So. If you take a real close look at this overspray, you could tell that that was airbrushed in. That was not done with a spray can. There's no spray bombing going on there. So you could tell with the overspray that what they did was they edged this. They painted all the edges, and that's how they got the overspray. So I don't think that they really paid close attention to in here. I think they mainly they just paid attention to the edges here inside the wheel wells behind the the chrome parts it's all painted see anything I can show you in the back not really and again you can see you can see the edges all along here and I don't know if you can see this in the video but if this were spray bombed you would see like like patterns from a spray can none of this I, I know this was airbrushed for a fact so there's really not much to show in here, so I guess if you're going to try and make one as close to what Tamaya would have done, just pay attention to painting all the wheel wells and all the edges, and then that'll give you a, a close overspray pattern. Whether you're using an airbrush or a spray can, doesn't really matter. So there you have it. Tamaya Bullhead, underbody painting and overspray but if this were new and I was going to paint it myself I think I would probably paint the inside of the body black I don't know just because I think if you look through like the wheel wells just above the chassis you can see the inside of the body I kind of like it when they're black but if you're building something to replicate what Tamaya would have did there you have it and I hope that answered any questions take care thanks for watching like and subscribe